But I grew up in a gravel pit around machinery. I just, I was a tomboy. I naturally had that inclination to go opposite of what everyone was doing, I guess. I got a lot of uh, hands-on experience, and that's good for me. I like having all those tools. My hands, my hand intelligence has all of a sudden come to life. It definitely wasn't always there, but yeah, it's progressed a fair amount in the past year. And I like defying what, what is the norm. <laughs> Working in a place like this, I'm able to deal with it well. I, I know how to interact with Males, they respect me for some reason because I'm strong. I'm stronger than I look. People, well, people are always shocked when I lift a 70-pound bag of coal like it's nothing or something like that. And so yeah, I don't look like it, but I am definitely built for manual labor and that kind of physical exertion. And working in a place like this, I get, I get a high off of sweating and just working hard. I enjoy that. Basically taking the idea that a gun is oh, used for killing and to me that's just what happened in the States with all the school shootings and stuff. That's just so wrong and kind of sickening to me. Taking that idea of violence coming, this bullet coming out of the gun to kill someone Instead, I'm going to forge the end of the barrel into a rose stem, put rose leaves and stuff on it, and then create the rose bud, like the flower on the end of it. And then also to encase the gun in vines and leaves and thorns because just to show that it's been grown over and completely encased in something so beautiful as a rose and thorn. drawing in where I'm going to cut to so I don't go too far. Any metal dust is actually pretty bad for you but specifically brass and copper are not great. They will actually harm you. So I'm just twisting them so that when I go back to the grinder, I can get into the individual cracks here and round out and define the petals even more. I try to practice so that I can, you know, get better at it. I, same thing, I, he taught me how to make leaves and you know, he showed me one and then I spent a day doing it over and over again. And then comes the interesting part. I'm going to add texture by on the anvil so it looks like a rose petal. Brass and copper are composed of such that when you bring them up to heat and quench them in water, it's called the kneeling and brass and copper allows it to become softer than normal. Unlike steel, where if you bring it up to temperature and immediately quench it, that becomes incredibly hard. So this sits on here fairly well now. I've squared off the, uh, the corners here and rounded out the prong on the end. First off you set 
these petals on alternating, so the two big and then the small on top. To where it breaks for each one, it's good to have them alternating so that it looks seamless. Okay. All right, so the saying is A before O or up you go. So you like the acetylene first and then the oxygen comes on after. So as you can see, this pedal is going in, so that means this next pedal needs to go over. And then it alternates in, out, in, out, in, out. On the edge of the anvil, trying to get a defined uh, four corners on this bud here. This is fairly grueling work when you're trying to move this much steel, but I enjoy the challenge, so. For twisting the vines, like some of these bigger vines you can see going up here, to twist those you actually need two people because you can tack it on and you can try and wrap it around yourself, but you need someone holding the acetylene torch, heating up certain parts so that you can muscle it around because those are pretty hefty pieces of steel to just try and bend with your hands. So you need one person holding the torch, heating it up, passing it around, and that goes on and on. And then when you get down to the smaller little tendrils, it's, you, still need, you still need some help because you have to, sometimes you have to kink it to get it to dive through the specific hole you want it to go through. I've spent so much time on it at this point, and I've been so engrossed in the project that I, I've definitely lost sight of where I started and where it's going to end. If I finish, if it's successful, I'll have this beautiful... There's no if I finish, right? <laughs> yeah. If it's successful, no, no, no. if it looks good, I will have that, I will have the physical, just a completion of an art piece, a completion of a mm. project that is so gratifying to me. So there's that element. And then there's also the, the implication of that. This gun shows this vine just creeping over it completely shrouded in beauty and 
it cannot be used for violence anymore. It's just, it's mm. just completely shut off that mm. access. So you're happier with it now. Oh. Still have its same title? Yeah, I think have you changed its name? No, I think Gun Shy is kind of cool. And it looks good. Smile. Well, you're the artist, right? So it's how you, it's how you yeah. want to present it.